Good evening everyone, today we're bringing you another Pagani Design watch review. Uh, we're going to be looking at the James Bond one today, so you saw an Omega, you may have seen an Omega in the uh, No Time to Die film. Uh, this watch is basically a homage towards that. Um, so yeah, before we actually move on to the actual watch, let's just have a little look at the box and the design. So Pagani Design has taken a little bit of a, a bit more of a sort of a unique design here with the little, just a little magnet inside this lip here, just to hold that lid down. Nice and shut. But when I initially had this box um, unboxed, fine enough, um, I could not, for the life of me, get the um, like the outside cardboard cover off. So I've just left that off. But if you order this watch, you will get a little cardboard cover. But you will need to give it a big pull to actually get that off. Um, so yeah, let's get let's have a look inside at the actual watch. So we've got our little NATO strap there in a sort of a, it's actually a black and a grey sort of asphalt colour. I don't like it when they put polythene inside things. But in terms of the box and the, and the cushion it comes with, it's a, it's well packaged. It's, it's a decent package for your, for your money's worth. So here we go guys, this is the Bugatti Design 071667. So, just a little bit about the watch. Um, we have a 42mm case diameter with a 14mm case thickness. The case thickness. Uh, watch retails at around about £110 and operates on a NH35 automatic Japanese movement. So, let's have a little look at the face here, shall we? So initial look at the face, we can see we've got those sort of those orangey, pale, luminous colour increments going all the way around here, and the same sort of colour going on with the actual uh, the numbers on the uh, not the numbers, sorry, the uh, the hands. The face is a plain black non sunray style bar with a date dial sitting down at at that like at the three pm essentially three pm did you nothing else going on but we can just see that nice gliding second hand going around the face there looking at the bezel we've got a nice thick bezel here with a similar sort of theme with that yellow that sort of pale yellow um style number system and the little uh, with twenty twenty three style numbers going around the actual uh, bezel the bezel itself is a unidirectional bezel with a nice decent sort of clicker mechanism to the actual movement of that bezel um watch itself is waterproof to 100 meters according to the specs and has a synthetic sapphire crystal glass here going over the top the bezel itself as well just touching on that again is a ceramic bezel rather than just a plain stainless steel one and it's very very thick Going to the casing, let's get the camera to focus a bit more here. Look at the bezel, uh, and sorry, the casing. We've got a line stainless steel casing going on here with a nice sort of blue tinted crown edge there. Come around to the side as well, we've still got that line finish going all the way around. Sometimes you've got a little print on the side here. Uh, like an Invicta watch would have something saying Invicta there. Sometimes you've got something, sometimes you don't. Uh, come around to the back. Actually, let's have a little look at the crown movement first before we move on to that. A very, very nice crown movement and a nice popping out motion to that. Moving out to first position. We've got a nice rotation to the first position for crown. And a very very nice a little bit flimsy on the second movement but nothing too nothing too bad and a nice spring when we're pushing that down as well so let's wind that back in he says don't worry guys i'm not just fiddly i'm just a bit of a pain when it comes to doing that so coming on the back we've got a full transparent skeleton look at that automatic movements like unlike a rolex with, that would have that sort of back plate fully lined over with a stainless steel finish you can also see here we've got the full water resistant quota on the back 100 meters as well and a very very nice clear print sometimes on the back text can be a little bit too small but this one's not that not like that at all 
very very nice um looking at the uh, the strap the strap itself follows a sort of an older style strap you might have seen this in like the 70s or the 80s with have got a with an adjustable clasp that slides down the casing and um, sorry not slides down the casing slides down the strap uh, but the strap is a 20 millimeter uh, yeah 20 millimeter stainless steel mesh well not a mesh style but a stainless steel uh, adjusting clasp style band with uh, double ended pop pins connecting into here with an easy access quick release clip here so you can just flip that and flip the other side and it will take out you haven't got a mess about of a screw just make sure you don't lose those parts when you're when you're changing the strap if you ever want to um, you'll need those those pins there for this strap even if you change it this one doesn't come with a spare one just in case you lose them so again looking at the strap you've got a mesh style strap with a stainless steel lined finish to that beginning design there with just a simple sliding finish on that uh, on that strap there so there we go guys that is the Pagani design 0071667 model let's have a little look at we've got on the wrist